Hi everyone, so we're on our way to Homeless Connect. It's Avery's first time going, so that's going to be exciting. To the hair salon! <laughs> to hair salon! Well, we're not going to hair salon. We're going to a place, um, usually there's a, a much bigger event, but because of COVID it's a lot smaller. So we're just going to a community center and Daddy's going to be giving some people some haircuts and we're going to have some fun. Okay, see you there. See you there, Daddy. Okay, so we're here with Melody, the, what are you, like the CEO or something? The executive director. <laughs> Ooh, the executive director of Homeless Connect. So like, you're the person that got this whole thing started, right? Yes. How'd that happen? What I never, I don't know if I ever got to hear that story. The whole story. Um, well, I found out about this model from Homeless Connect Edmonton. I shadowed them in 2010 at Homeless Connect Edmonton and decided at that point already that we were going to bring one here, um, but we didn't know how. And so we, you know, over two years or so, I talked to about 200 people about this idea. And then some volunteers came alongside with me to kickstart it. We found some service providers. So our very first event was 2014. We started at the Harborfront Community Center and we had 50 service providers there. Um, but we outgrew that space in that very first event and we've been at the Madame Athletic Center since then. So five years and then obviously COVID happened. <laughs> and now it's like... <laughs> different. It's different. They're actually more quality. Don't you think you have more, okay, going to spend more okay. time with people now? It's more okay. quality. I still do them as fast and get, <laughs> get them going. <laughs> but yeah, that's awesome. Big thing for everyone. See, the first step to doing anything you want, big or small, is having a goal. So you had a goal. That's pretty crazy. Like I, I don't, I, I never asked you, so I never really got to know. Yeah. <laughs> is there a reason that like helping homeless? Like, is there a reason that like that drew to you? Yeah. Like, I mean, when I started at the time, I was a teacher. So I was teaching in inner city Toronto, um, working with lots of children and families who were living in poverty. Um, I think it really just opened my eyes as a teacher, how limited I was in teaching, you know, math and language, but really, you know, there's more to meeting their needs than just academics, right? Um, it gave me a glimpse of all the different challenges that many of the families I worked with go through. Um, so that was one piece of it. I think also, you know, being born and raised in Toronto, seeing homelessness on and off, um, recognizing that there's like I don't think it's a normal thing right like I, I realize like when we walk by someone who's panhandling or you know even now on the highways it's not it's not a normal thing that should be happening right and wanting desperately to do something different I guess coming across the Homeless Connect model became a very practical way of doing something different. Well, it lit something up in you, right? Yeah, but also <laughs> empowering people, right? Yeah. I think a lot of people are similar to me in the sense that they don't know what to do, right? And so how can I help? I want to do something different. I don't know. Maybe not. I don't want to just give money. What can I do? So I think the Homeless Connect model introduces people to a whole host of different supports and services in Toronto. So maybe they could volunteer at that but also recognizing, oh, there's all these things that are in place. How can we make, make it make sense for people who need to navigate the system, right? And so it's, it's kind of like twofold. And then for me, it's very much educational. How can I help people understand that individuals who experience homelessness are not necessarily scary people. They're not, you know, the, the stigmas that people have, have meant, all have mental health issues. They all have addictions. That's not true. There's so much complexity to why someone becomes homeless. And so our events generally give a really good opportunity where community members can all come together and really we're sharing stories and sharing life right um, but being practical at the same time for you you said it's like not normal for me that I feel almost the opposite I'm like it, when I see like that like that difference like people there is like a stigmatism towards homeless people but like I just see it like that could have happened to anyone yes like, I just see that could have happened to me could happen to really anyone there's a person mm -hmm. and yeah there there are tons of homeless people with health issues and mental issues and then it's hard for them to do these things that you're making easier for them mm -hmm. right and then there's all the other people where like they just give up or something goes bad you know one guy was just saying he ran out of money you know he ran out of money and then was having problems at home and then it, it could really happen to anyone yes and i feel the same way like, I really don't like giving money to homeless people because I, what if they, they aren't going to go spend it on drugs, right? Which is terrible, but mm -hmm. it's just like, 
I, I always rather like, what do you want to eat? Go into the grocery store. <laughs> we got a lady like around our block. We give her like avocados and bananas. <laughs> Get a free to like do that because That's it's cute. just like give them food. You know, mm -hmm. it, it it's so easy to just walk by them, not notice them because we don't want to give them money. But just think, you know, give them a meal. It makes you feel good. Like, hey, what would you like to eat? Like, mm -hmm. you do it for them, mm -hmm. but it feels good for yourself, too. That's right. So, yeah, I just thought it'd be interesting to hear your story. Yeah, thank you. And bring more awareness. We always need hairdressers. Yes, we always need hairdressers. <laughs> Everywhere and all the time. There's no shortage of need for that, for sure. Yeah, we, we need hairdressers to volunteer. Mm -hmm. So if you're interested in volunteering and you're in the Toronto area, contact me and I'll hook you up with Melody and eventually it'll get bigger and we have that need. Yeah, we do. <laughs> we always need that. Yeah, but it's always fun. And yeah, volunteering, if you can volunteer, it it's it's one of my uh, yeah it's probably my most enjoyed day of work and i don't get paid for it but you do get paid for it because you just you feel good making people feel good and just treating them like they're people you know you you, you give them the day to feel special you know and it's it really is special for them and they look forward to it they get to have clothes they get some food they get you know to be touched and treated like Pampered. a human being you know so yeah. It's just, thank you. Thank you, Matthew, for yeah. coming for all these years. We really appreciate it. Keep it up. Yay. I used to be uh, a long shag. Now I feel like a human being again, rather than a caveman. Mm -hmm. They set up Avery with all sorts of fun stuff, huh? Hey, this is the secret. <laughs> So exciting. <laughs> you want to say hi? Uh, hi. <laughs> there, now you, now you get to say hi. hi. <laughs> Hello, everyone. So basically, the homeless people get to come and they get haircuts and teeth cleaning and they get to see an optometrist and usually there's legal services and stuff, but it's a lot smaller now thanks to COVID. We got burrito boys. Look, I love the burrito boys. I got burrito boys. I'm gonna mix it all up. Well, I just like salt because it makes it sweet. Salt doesn't make it sweet, it makes it salty. I like salty. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm gonna scarf this down. And that's it. <laughs> One more step. Ah, there, good job. Okay. okay, so welcome everyone. 
This is our Homeless Connect Toronto event in partnership with Agent Court Community Services Association in Scarborough. So out here we have our Journey to Home booth. And it's just talking to different people who are on the spectrum of homelessness, um, collecting their stories, asking them to participate. We have a shoe drive donated from Running Free Canada. This is our volunteer hey. So all of these shoes were donated from Running Free Canada and um, it's free for anyone who wants to participate. No And we have guests writing about where do your shoes take you. So a little activity over here. And in the morning they also got red backpacks too, but I think we ran out. The backpacks are always a hot For sure. Commodity. Oh, are you good? Are you hot? Okay, let's get okay, back let's inside. Let's go back inside. <laughs> So this is our registration, all compliant with uh, COVID. So we have screening, everything is pre-booked, so very, very safe. <laughs> okay, um, let's go over to the hair cutting station. So this is and a toy station. And a toy station, yeah. So this is the Nothing Against Your Salon hair cutting station. And this, and this is and this is Avery Station. Do you want to explain your station? What's going on here? Huh? Yeah? Well, a Jesus thing is a sandwich. This is a path where I go to school. Yeah. Um, and you got some painting, painting over there. And this is what I do. Wow. Yeah. Connection. It's a nice office space. Yeah, you've got a lot of desk space. <laughs> <laughs> More than most of us. You want to continue the tour, Avery? Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's yeah. keep going. Let's see what else. We're almost done. <laughs> okay. So over here is our virtual station. So we have three stations set up with iPads. And today we have CRA help. We have help from Service Canada and also um, community reintegration with Second Chance. And every guest gets their own personal uh, headphones, so it's very clean and safe too. Down the hall, in the room, there's housing support as well, and that's from the uh, Agent Court team. They have their own housing support here. Let's continue over here. <laughs> oh, and you forgot to cook. We got a cook here making yummy food for everyone. Thank yeah, you. good job. So Agent Court runs like a food bank every day. No, no medication. Are you allergic to anything? And this is uh, where we get people to take a shower to clean their hair if they need to. And this is our eye doctor, Dr. Lois. And she does eye assessments. She's a very popular <laughs> service provider all the time. And then in the end, um, guests will just go through. You want? Ooh, what's yeah. in the upper? I have thing? no idea. I have, don't think we're allowed to go through. So oh, once guests. A little person. Yeah. Hi. <laughs> hi. Do you want to say hi to everyone? Or? Huh? Oh, you're doing homeless. Uh, oh, you're yeah, gonna, we're just doing a thing. Like I, I, I wore that one the last time I volunteered. Nice. <laughs> what is this? Nice to see you. <laughs> And then this area here is our feedback form and freebies. So once guests go through the event, um, they'll meet with Linda to just talk about their experience. And then they're able to get this wellness kit and also a hygiene kit and a $10 gift card to Tim Hortons. Yay. So they call you and scream at you with all the customer no, service. <laughs> very happy. <laughs> that's good. That's good. It's nice to make people happy. Look at this big banner. Look how tall it is. So much taller than you, right, Avery? Mm-hmm. And then this is where our guests would exit. The exit. Yes, this is the exit. <laughs> the exit. Want to take a look, too? <laughs> I think we're not allowed up here. Oh, we're not allowed? Oh, sorry, we're really loud. Sorry. Yeah. Oh, that was weird. <laughs> what? Hi, everyone. Hi, Okay, I think there's that, three persons. Thank you, Carrie. What? No problem. We have three beds. Yeah. Come on, come on. Come on, where are you 